the good thing about this exhibition at that plural is that, um, and it's my, it was my surprise actually, I was not ready for that when I arrived and I saw that I had three floors, you know, paintings, gribs, sculptures, maquettes, but sculptures anyway. You know, the good thing about it is that it, it gives a very good impression about the, the body of work that I'm working at the same time, actually, which is interesting. I'm not doing painting or sculpture or this or that. You know, I'm doing everything at the same time. So this is a very good uh, demonstration. Um, the space is huge, which uh, allows us to see a maximum of paintings. In fact, uh, it's the first time that I show so many paintings and only paintings on one floor like this. Uh, same thing with the grips. You know, it's great that I could present, I don't know how they are all together, but about at least 10 or 12 gribs uh, and showing two early pieces from, uh, from the late 70s, early, early 80s actually, early 80s, yes. Yeah. So it gives, um, it gives an idea of how the thing started, you know, how I started to get involved with the idea of uh, indetermination. De you know, the indeterminate lines really started with those uh, um, uh, two pieces that are exhibited downstairs. The paintings exhibited here on this floor are very much related to the early works of 1966, of course, since they are absolutely uh, mathematical uh, subjects. Uh, what's, uh, what's interesting here that you can see is uh, what has been happening, uh, all the freedom that I've been taking. In, in the early years, I was very much involved with the theoretical aspect of the work, and only that. I was never s selecting uh, the subject matter myself, where here I select um, the subject, what you see, is selected in relationship to, to uh, what I'm trying to do, pardon, I'm sorry, what I'm trying to do is something that doesn't look at all like art the way we know it, you see. Already using mathematics is a surprise, but then doing the saturation thing, you know, putting equation on top of each other, it's a way to uh, make a, uh, to present, you know, something that you never saw. I want to be as far as possible from anything that you can see in a book of art history. And then I'm taking more and more uh, freedom. That is the case. I was just talking about the saturation, but also now um, introducing shaped canvases, for example. It's pretty odd, you know, people don't understand why. While I'm using, uh, you know, such serious subject as mathematics, I'm doing things on, with gold, with shaped canvases, you know, and, and you know what? I don't know why I'm doing it. I just think that I'm just going, I'm living an adventure. Later on, we will give some explanation. Today, I'm trying to discover new ways of doing art. So I don't have any explanation really. I'm just trying to intuitively to go where people have never been going. That's what I, I can say about the paintings here. If you want to know about the sculptures upstairs, we are making, uh, since it's very difficult, of course, to bring sculptures which are, you know, 10, 20, or 30, or 60 tons uh, uh, on, on the fourth floor of the gallery or the building, uh, we decided to make uh, an installation of maquettes. And they give a pretty good um, ideas about the, all the variations that I made with sculptures. You see, sculptures with angles, you know, broken lines. You can see sculptures with arcs, and you see, you discover the new effondrement, which are collapses. It's the contrary of um, constructivism. When a, an artist is doing constructivism, he's taking a piece of steel, and then he, or, or of wood, anything, I mean, let's say a shape, and then he puts another one, and intuitively, like I was talking before, intuitively he's going to make a composition. Here I do completely the opposite. First I have uh, some 
objects which are arcs or angles or, or, uh, or straight lines, you know, in a certain order, like put together very well. And suddenly, an event that was not expected, like uh, an earthquake or like boom, you know, and you get everything <laughs> collapsing like this, this is what I'm showing. So it's really, it's the deconstruction in a way. It's the contrary of constructivism. These are uh, the effondrement pieces, the collapse piece. And this is very much what I'm working on today. And there are some good examples upstairs. Otherwise, we see also the typical classical arcs, the vertical arcs, like um, some that I presented in Versailles not too long ago, uh, but the two, uh, here we have uh, like one piece. So it's, it's an echantillonage of, of uh, different type of, uh, of sculptures.